Hey guys, how's it going? Today we are going to be doing an update video on our hydroponic systems. Now I have several systems featured here and we have done review, unboxing, and assembly videos for every system that is shown here. Um, and I will go ahead and link those in the description below in case you guys want to see these individual systems in more detail. Um, but right now what I have done is I have moved all of my hydroponic systems upstairs. They used to be in the basement um, on this shelf. I moved the shelf and all the hydroponic systems upstairs because everything kept dying in the basement and I'm not sure what exactly was happening. I think it might have been too chilly down there for what I was trying to grow. I'm not sure but I decided to move it upstairs so I can keep a closer eye on them and so that the uh, temperature will be a little more um, friendly to my plants, I guess. So I wanted to give you guys a overview of everything and give you an update on how everything's doing. And we're going to be starting some seeds in these systems as well to take out to the big garden here in the spring. So in the last um, video that we put out last Monday, um, we unveiled the new bigger better I do for the 12 pod and we had started some broccoli cabbage and um, cauliflower in that system and those are all for seed starting to take out to the bigger garden later and so that's what we're going to be doing again today we're going to be starting some different things some herbs and some more broccoli and things like that at this point of the game I'm not looking at starting tomatoes or peppers or anything yet it's a little too early for that um, I'll probably wait a few more weeks maybe even towards the end of March um, I really can't plant stuff out in the garden that is like summer crops until middle of May so I really have a long time until those things need to go in the ground okay so before we start planting our new seeds I want to give you an update on all of the systems that we have stuff growing in right now and show you how they're doing and some of them are going to have to replant a little bit. Like I said, I was having issues with some things growing in my basement. They kept uh, germinating and then dying. Um, so I'm going to have to replant some of those things. But let me give you an overview. Okay, in the first system here, this is the 12 pod deeper um, style I do that we just planted up in last week's video. Um, and this has our broccoli, cabbage, and cauliflower in it. As you can see, most of these came up and they're looking really good. I'm really happy with them so far. Um, this one actually came up, but I killed him. I accidentally broke him when I was trying to help him get out of his little sticker. He was having trouble and then I ended up breaking him. Um, the cauliflower, only one plant came up so far. So I think I'm going to reseed the other two um, pods there, but the rest of them are looking pretty good. We are going to have to thin these seeds So as you can see there's more than one seedling coming out of these holes And I want to make sure that I only have one plant per soil sponge in the next system We have the six pod I do here, which was our giveaway I do that we did and in the center I have some basil growing which is looking really good It's starting to actually look like basil, which is so exciting um, and then around the outside, I planted strawberries and none of them are coming up. So I think I'm going to have to plant something else in here. I'm out of strawberry seeds and they didn't do well for me this year. In this next system, this is the tote box that we reviewed a couple of weeks ago. Um, this one was the one that really struggled in the basement. Um, I had lettuce growing here um, in these two pods that came up and then died. I had... Um, some marigolds I think in here there was spinach in these two one spinach plant is still holding on and then back in the back there's one basil plant I had some other lettuce in these two back here and then I forget what I had up here I think it was strawberries something like that there were strawberries in some of these and I think marigolds in these ones um, but those two are the only survivors so that's quite sad so we're going to be replanting this one up today. Um, this system right here is the Qyo. Um, we did this one a while back. And this one's going to be my herb system. So I already have this all set up. The water is in it. Um, I need to add the nutrients. I forgot to do that earlier. But the sponges are in, the water's in. And I'm going to be planting up some sage, some oregano, and some basil in this one. And this is going to be all starts that go out in the big garden. 
Then down here we have the lower style I do 12 pod, which I found some baskets and sponges um, that fit in here and they kind of sit, they kind of sit a little wonky in there, but they fit down inside and I think they're going to be just fine. Um, I'm going to plant some more broccoli, cabbage, and cauliflower in here. I plant a lot of that in the spring and the fall, so I want to have a lot of starts. And then in this one, I don't have anything planned yet. So I need to find some seeds. I think I'm going to run to the store today, see what I can find. Um, I might end up just doing more broccoli and stuff like that because I like to have a lot of that on hand. Now, starting seeds in your hydroponics tabletop system is something that I played around with a little bit last year. Um, I started some tomato seeds in mine. Um, I think it was my seven pod, my originals I do that I had. Um, it did wonderful. Hydroponic systems produce such a wonderful root system on your plants that I find it works really well for transplanting things out into the garden. Now what I will be doing with these is I will start these here today indoors and after a few weeks after the plants start to get some growth on them I will be transplanting them into some regular soil cups um, and I will show you guys that process of course. And then after a little bit of time in there, maybe a week or two, I will then be transferring them whenever I'm ready out into the big garden. Now the reason that you're going to want to transfer your hydroponic starts into a soil container before transferring them straight out into the garden is because these plants are used to growing inside where the elements are very mild. It's a consistent temperature, um, there's no harsh sun, there's no wind, it's a very controlled environment and your plants need to go through a process that's called hardening off and so what you do is you start to um, expose your plants to very limited amounts of sunlight and temperature over the next couple weeks until they're ready to go out into the garden so for example if I have some broccoli plants here Whenever they are ready to be transferred into the soil containers, I will be taking them and probably in the evening hours, not whenever the sun is super harsh in the midday, but probably in the evening, I will take all my plants outside and at first I'll leave them out there for maybe an hour and then I'll bring them back inside. Um, the next day, maybe I'll leave them out for two hours and then bring them back in. The next day, maybe three hours. Everybody kind of has their own process for this. And some people will say that you're supposed to only take your plants out for an hour for a week straight and all this kind of stuff. I really don't have patience for that. Here's what you don't want to do. And this is what I've done. So this is me speaking from experience. You don't want to forget about them. What you want to do, essentially the entire idea, is you want to start exposing your plants to outside elements slowly in a controlled atmosphere. So taking them out for a short period of time and bringing them back inside and extending that period of time over time is essentially what the hardening off process is. But that process is extremely important because if I would take these plants that were started inside, even if they were a good size, and I took them straight outside, planted them in the garden, and just let them go. They would shrivel up and die, most likely, either from the sun, the wind, or the temperatures, the cold, or whatever it is. Those plants are not used to it, and they can be pretty fragile when you bring them from such a controlled environment in your house to the outdoor elements. Now this is true for all seeds starting inside. This is not just uh, for hydroponic systems or anything like that. This is for all seed starting. If you start your seeds inside, they have to go through this hardening off process. Um, and it's just because they grew up inside, they weren't used to the elements, they have to slowly be introduced to those things. Okay, so after saying all of that, um, I just wanted to touch on a few things before we start planting our seeds here. Um, if you are having trouble getting some of your seeds to sprout in your hydroponic systems, I'm having trouble with certain seeds like cilantro, especially, um, strawberry seeds, 
they're not they're not doing very well so if you are having trouble with your seeds getting them to germinate inside your system try soaking your seeds in a little bit of water for a few hours first before you put them in your system that's what I'm doing with my cilantro seeds today I cannot get cilantro to grow worth a dang in these things I don't know why um, I do think that certain plants don't like to have their feet really wet and so I'm finding as I'm growing things that certain plants just don't do well in these. Um, particularly spinach doesn't seem to do well in here for me. Cilantro doesn't seem to do well, but I can't really get it to germinate. So if I could get it to actually grow, it might be okay. I'm not sure. Um, but certain plants that tend to like it more on the drier side of things, they're not really going to love a hydroponic system setup because their feet are constantly wet, like always wet. Um, so just think about that as you are starting your seeds or as you are planting things in your hydroponic systems. If it's something that likes to be dry or likes a little bit of drier conditions, it may not grow in this system. What I like to tell people are things like basil, greens, lettuces, Things like that absolutely love these types of systems. So, and I think that's usually like what we want on our counters growing is like salad mixes and things like that that we can easily pick off and throw into our dinners. So it works great for that. But if you are having trouble with certain things, check on it. See if it is something that likes to be a little drier. It may not like the hydroponic situation that you got going on here. Okay, so we are going to start planting in our QEO system here. Um, like I said, if you want to know more about these systems or how to set them up, I will link those videos in the description below. But I already have these systems all set up. They already have their baskets and sponges in them and they are full of water. Um, I will need to add the nutrients. I forgot to do that earlier, but we are ready to plant. So in this system, we are going to be planting some oregano some sage and some basil and then of course my cilantro which here are my seeds I just dumped the water out they have been soaking for about two hours so I think they're ready to go ahead and plant so to plant up my system I'm just going to take two seeds of each kind of herb that I'm planting today and I'm going to place it down in the hole of my system here of these soil sponges just pop them in there and then they should be good to go. So that's it for our herb system. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, the next system we're gonna plant up is our tote box. So I'm going to be planting some red romaine lettuce, some regular romaine, and some arugula. All of these are from Eden Brothers. And I'm sorry about the lighting. I have a little bit of um, a shadow here from the camera, but the lighting with these things is kind of funny. Like when I have them on, it's such a harsh light in the camera. So it like looks better to have them off, but then you end up getting all these weird shadows. So I'm going to go ahead and plant some red romaine lettuce here on these sides. This is what I had planted in this previously, um, at least in these back two. I think I had marigolds in the front which marigolds don't seem to like hydroponic systems either. I've had them come up a few times and they don't, they don't survive for me. I am going to be starting them in regular seed starting trays though. So I'm actually gonna do two rows of red romaine because that's what we eat the most of. That's what I like the most of. And I love this red romaine from Eden Brothers because it comes up within a few days 
and it's a great lettuce. It's very hearty. I really like it. I will link Eden Brothers down below for you guys if you want to check out their seeds as well. Then we're going to do arugula, which I'm going to do the arugula probably in these front two and then do our regular green romaine in the back. I'm going to let the basil and stuff that's still in here, I think it's basil and um, spinach, that's what it is, basil and spinach. I'm going to leave them in here because I want them to grow if they, are, if they can. I haven't given up hope yet. Okay, then our regular romaine lettuce in these back two corners. And I don't, like, I try to get two to three seeds in each thing, but I don't fuss with it too much. You guys know me. In this last system here, this is the more shallow 12 pod I do. We are going to be planting up some broccoli, two rows of um, cabbage, and then one row of cauliflower. Okay, so I got all of the humidity domes placed back on our systems after we got them all planted up. And I don't have anything planted yet in this system right here or in this six pot up here. All I have is the basil that's in the middle, which I think I'm going to run to the store and see what kind of seeds they have on hand there and see if I can find something fun to grow in these. I might actually even grow some flowers because my soul is starting to crave some flowers. Well guys, that's going to be it for this video. I wanted to just give you guys a good update on how everything was doing. Over the past couple videos, we've planted up quite a few systems and I wanted to give you an update on them. Sadly, the update for some of them wasn't so great. We had to replant them this video, but that's just the reality of life sometimes. And I'm going to show you reality too. Um, I was really encouraged by the broccoli, cauliflower, and cabbage that I planted last week. Um, it's doing absolutely amazing in the new 12th pod I do. Um, so I was really happy to show you guys that. And yeah, I can't wait to update you guys on everything that's growing here and show you how we take this stuff from inside to the garden. And I cannot wait to get back to the big garden. Is anybody with me? Like I'm chomping at the bit to get back outside. It's, I'm starting to clean out some flower beds. I'm starting to clean out some old containers that had some things that are dead now and look terrible. Um, some winter things that I have planted. I am looking at trimming up the fruit trees. It's about that time as well and spraying them. So it's, it's coming guys. Spring is coming. I'm excited. Um, so yeah, I hope this video was helpful for you guys to see an update of how things are doing and to talk a little bit about seed starting in your hydroponic systems. Um, we are also going to be doing a seed starting video for just like regular old seed starting, like in soil with the little things, whatever they're called. I don't know. Seed starting trays. That's it seed starting trays. We're going to be doing videos on that as well because I can't start all my seeds in these. I'm actually kind of interested to do an experiment and do some broccoli, cauliflower, and cabbage seeds in regular um, seed starting mix and kind of compare the two and see which does better. I think that'll be fun. Um, kind of a fun experiment to see which seedlings do better in the garden. So I hope this video was helpful and we will see you in the next one.